about to play some Spider-Man. Game is absolutely phenomenal. Right here. As you can see, I'm not in my house, I'm in a hotel. Um, you know, just on a business trip and doing whatever. But of course, uh, I want to do a video of the latest turn of events. But before that, welcome my friends, my family, my fellow gamers. This is your boy, Porter Rock 77 your only friend in these YouTube streets. Back at you with another video. Check out the description box. You know the routine. My Twitter link is there. Follow me. You also see the link to my PayPal if you choose to support the channel. But if you don't, it's all good. Because what I appreciate the most is you guys rocking out on my channel. And if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Hope you enjoy. Check out the playlist so you can see past contents and all that good stuff. So let's talk about... The whirlwind. The stuff, and I'll be honest, I didn't even see this coming at all. You know what I'm saying? Didn't see this all. Sony is now looking into crossplay with its competing platforms. They're starting or they're about to start a beta with Fortnite to play along with the Xbox One. And I did not see that coming. And I you know many of the reasons I said it. Many of the reasons like, you know, in terms of you know focusing, ensuring that their platform is not accessible to other platforms, things like that. We all know, you know, stuff like that. I'll link to the videos on the reason why I thought. But that all changed. Sony, whatever. And of course, every fanboy is going to, you know, say... Well, I mean, what's funny is... Well, we're going to go into that. So recently, Sony decided, they made the announcement that they're going to release a beta to crossplay with the Xbox platform in Fortnite. All right? So that broke ice with their previous policy of only keeping, you know, online gamers on the best possible you know, online network or whatever. Usually we saw the damage control um, Sony did, right? But despite all that, they're pushing forward with crossplay with the Xbox platform. And I don't know if they mentioned Nintendo, but I would imagine it will come along as well, right? Okay. My stance, as I said before, and I said this plenty of time, I'm neither here with the actual crossplay. Crossplay doesn't take away anything from me. It may or may not add anything for me. It depends. I may use it. I remember a couple of times I said I might use it for Destiny, Madden, whatever. You know, it depends on a case-by-case -case basis. But it's still, to this day, not a big factor for me in terms of my favorite platform. For other people, it is whatever. My always biggest issue with crossplay wasn't even actually with the crossplay itself. It's the people using crossplay. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of people using that energy for crossplay anti-consumerism. When they're not really about that life. They didn't really care. All they cared about is using crossplay to attack PlayStation, to attack Sony, to make the brand look bad. Let's be honest. You know? And now I have proof. And what I mean I have proof, well, I ain't gonna say I have no proof. The true colors have been shown. Because now Sony is on crossplay, right? So what's the next best thing? The next best thing is go at Microsoft, right? To shut down that paywall. That's behind free to play games. Majority of the people that were jock riding this crossplay, they're not on that train. They're silent. You don't see them. There's a few people that are doing it. Now, shout out to Jay Fonzarelli, shout out to Neethles, shout out to Ash and Luca. They're all about that life. You know what I'm saying? Now they put their focus on Microsoft with this paywall. But the majority of the, majority of the people that were jumping up and down for crossplay, they're not around no more. They're not saying a goddamn thing about whatchamacallit, uh, the paywall, right? But even worse, because I knew that was going to happen. That's not really surprising to me. What I didn't expect was the Bethesda Defense Force. So now, here's the thing. So as Sony, you know, a couple of weeks ago, whatever, a month ago, whatever, was not down with crossplay, Bethesda comes out, decided to jump the train, right, and tell people, well, you know, Fallout 76 is not going to have crossplay because... You know, Sony, Sony's not, you know, they're not playing ball. You know what I'm saying? So, it's because of Sony, things ain't moving. So, people use that as part of the whole campaign on crossplay, right? That was all part of the thing. Oh, see, Sony's holding back developers, big 30 part developers, but that's, but that's, but that's the hero, right? Well, Sony just called Bethesda's bluff. They're like, hey, we're doing crossplay. Now all of a sudden, but then it's like, whoa, whoa, hold up, hold up. We, we, you know, we, we don't even, we don't even know if we can even do crossplay on this console. Now they don't even know. What the fuck is Waldo? Now all of a sudden, crossplay most likely was never an option at all. They're not even sure if it could even be done. What happened? What the fuck? Everything's fine, you know. 
before Sony said anything, oh yeah, cosplay. Oh my God, yo, cosplay, cosplay. Oh my God, Sony's holding us back. Now it's like, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, um, what? Who? Oh, my favorite. Look at the analogy. I forgot to do a dev's name. He he used the analogy from Bethesda to defend this shit. He said, you know, if you told me I couldn't dress, I forgot what costume he said. You know, he says, if you told me I couldn't dress as a particular costume for Halloween in April, and now we're two days away from Halloween or some shit, and now you can tell me I could dress this way, I'm not going to all of a sudden be able to dress that way. I was like, what the fuck is this dude talking about? Because now the damage control is because Sony didn't say way back when that they were allowed crossplay. Now, Bethesda don't have the time or the manpower or they didn't do the research behind it because it was Sony's fault. Because Sony didn't say nothing. So the fact that Sony's saying now doesn't mean they could do it. So now the blame is still on Sony that Bethesda don't have cosplay online. Well, here's the bullshit I'm going to call on that, Bethesda. And any fanboy that defends Bethesda. What the fuck does Sony have to do with PC and Xbox One? And why am I saying that? Because you could have done online, cosplay online, cosplay between Xbox and PC. You don't need the PlayStation platform. And what proof do I have you don't need? Do you motherfuckers wait till PS4, Sony, co-sign mods? Y'all didn't wait for Sony. Right? Bethesda went ahead. Despite Sony saying, no, we don't support mods. Bethesda said, fuck it. You don't support? That's not our problem. We're going to put mods anywhere on PC and Xbox One. And guess what? Fallout 4 got mods. Where the fuck is Waldo? Where, where, where's the Bethesda Defense Force? Where are you? Where the fuck is Waldo? The possess a way for you guys? No. No. They didn't wait for Sony. They implemented mods on PC and on Xbox One without Sony. In fact, that caused Sony to cave in. Because once Xbox and PC got mods, PS4 gamers were like, hold the fuck up, Sony. We understand your policy, but nah. Because we're missing out on content that other gamers got. So Sony caved in. But does it didn't wait because that has nothing to do with Xbox and PC. And don't even come with no bullshit that, well, maybe Sony has rights. Sony doesn't have marketing rights to, to Fallout 76. Microsoft does. So you can't even say that. You can't even say that, whatchamacallit, well, the marketing rights behind um, 76 is preventing crossplay between PC and Xbox. Nope. Sorry, son. So if Bethesda was all about that life, they would have just done it with PC and Xbox. And that would have helped force... Sony to even make this decision. The bottom line, Bethesda had no intention of putting online crossplay. Zero. None. What they did was they took all that momentum and backlash, right? Of Sony not using crossplay because of Fortnite and locking down by Nintendo. And that shit became the news all across the media. Fallout, Bethesda, decided to just jump on the train so they could have a little bit of limelight. So they could look good for their game. You know what I'm saying? Because in all honesty, just like me, Bethesda probably thought Sony's never going to cave in. So fuck it. Let's jump on this train. Let's make ourselves look the good guy. You know, let's make us look like the pro-consumer company so we could sell our game. And everybody could jump on our game and support it because we're those good guys. Well, guess what? Sony fucked you. Yeah, that's right, but there's a Sony fucked you. Because they called your bluff. They called your bullshit. You try to make Sony look bad, so that way you can make your shit look good? Fuck is you going to do now? So you know the truth? You have no fucking choice but to make on a Fallout 76 cross-play between all three platforms. So all this bullshit where, oh, we don't have ever? No, you going to figure it out. You going to figure it out. You stepped into something on some bullshit you shouldn't have stepped into. You had no intention of making Fallout 76 crossplay. So why would you even conversate on that? You had no intention on that bullshit. Well, guess what? Fuck your intentions. Get your ass in the fucking chair. Get your ass in the studio. Make that shit crossplay. Too bad. Now, I personally don't care if Fallout 76 crossplay. All right? But guess what? You open your mouth, shut the fuck up, get in that seat. Make it happen now. You have no choice. You open your mouth, do it. You got to do it, Bethesda. Make cosplay happen. I personally don't care. But since you want to be all up in the mix, get up in there now. Get up in the studio.
Make them tracks work. You have no choice. And all you defense force, this is why, listen, this is why I don't listen to y'all defense force. Because y'all all bums. That's why I don't get into the whole anti-consumer, pro-consumer. I don't get into those conversations. I don't, I don't, I don't do a whole pro-consumer, anti-consumer advocacy on any shit. Because each and, each and every company has something that's a little bit of bullshit. At the end of the day, speak with your wallets. That's what I do. If I don't like something, I just don't buy it. That's all I need to do. That's all I really need to do. Don't like it? Don't buy it. Done. Done for me. It's easy for me. You understand what I'm saying? But you got dudes hyping crossplay, but at the same time defending Bethesda. That makes no goddamn sense. So now that all three companies are about crossplay, you're now defending companies that don't want to do it or making excuses because they can't. This shit, this shit is wild, bro. Then what's the goddamn point of all this? You know? Either way, it's nothing for me or one or the other. I'm just trying to figure out what fucking endgame you guys are trying to do. What position do you guys hold? I don't understand the position you guys are holding. One minute you want Sony to do crossplay, they cave in, you got the W, you got the victory, and when Bethesda comes out with their bullshit, you're defending them. So you want crossplay, but you're defending the companies that don't want to give it to you now. Now that it's available, that makes... No sense. You dudes are just off the hook, bro. That's just you. That's why I don't get down with this fucking anti-movement. To me, this anti-consumer movement, for the most part, there's some of you who are legit, but the majority, or at least I feel from the majority that I see, y'all don't need to use it to bring down a company. Y'all don't really use it because you actually care about it. Y'all use the free to pay paywall to bring down Microsoft. Y'all use Crossplay to bring down Sony. You understand know what I'm saying? Y'all just pick and choose how to use it, when to use it, because you're more concerned about bringing down the company. You're not really caring about enhancing gaming. Some of you are, but a lot of you aren't. A lot of you give two shits. And we're going to find out. Because now that Sony is allowing cosplaying and gets over, we're going to see who actually uses it. Because that's the key. I told you, this cosplay thing is neither skin, is no, you know, is, I'm neither here nor there with that. It's whatever. But all you big advocates, you spend many hours... On podcasts, many hours on Twitter, arguing for crossplay. Now we're gonna find out how many hours you spend using crossplay. Cause it's gonna look suspect. You have many hours talking about it, but zero minutes actually using it. It's gonna be interesting. We're about to find out. Anyway, this is your boy Porter Rock 97. Let me watch you know what you think. Hit me up in the comment section. Again, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification. And I have my little cards here to make it easier for you. And I'm out. Peace.